Welcome everybody, this is Bones of Berry back at it again with the tips to help you win. Yes, today I got something very special for you. This is for those Procreate users or anybody using a software where they want to add stuff and they're limited on the layers. Now you might be thinking, oh, which witchcraft are you doing to perform such a task? Or did you summon the gods of Procreate? What prayer did you use? Guess what? It doesn't require any of that. It's just a simple method that I use and, you know, I found out that we can basically give you an infinite amount of layers. How cool is that? So let's get right into it. Alright everybody, so let's get right into it. So basically this is a method we're going to go ahead and duplicate the files over and over again. And you know, just working on the different files. A little background, I actually developed this a few months ago when I was just doing a drawing and I used to just accept. I used to just accept when Procreate said, oh, your limit is 9. And I used to just walk away with my, with my um, tail tucked between my legs, but then I said no. We're gonna figure out something else because there has to be a way to get these more layers in here so then i i figured this out and i'm gonna go ahead and explain so the first layer or the first file i have at the bottom left is um gundam character full you see so basically i'll do this and i'll whatever lay if i do the background first or character i'll do that fully flesh it out okay then i'll go ahead and to make sure that that's safe and not not flattened i'll go ahead and duplicate that and then just go ahead and flatten the character layers all the character layers okay and then i'll just take that character and then i'll just um you know i'll use him on the i use him or i'll copy that and use that same character and then just start fleshing out the background which i have done here fleshed out the background and then just when you thought i was done duplicating i duplicated again and made an effect on here i started putting all those effects that's when i started putting the filters on and you know just getting getting those final touches in there that gives it that extra oomph so let's go ahead and demonstrate on a drawing that i actually just made to for this very demonstration so this is a barbarian lady that i just sketched out so I'm going to go ahead and ask you to follow along and then you'll get this method. Uh, you'll probably be able to do it a little bit better if you follow along. So the first one, I want you to label whatever. Um, let's name that. Ooh, not that. That was an accident. So I'm going to name this barbarian character full. OK, so as you can see here, I got all these layers. I got all the layers. I'm like, OK, let's just make another layer. Wait, what? maximum layer limit yo tell me with this but wait right there before you before you call it quits okay we're gonna go back to gallery we're gonna hit that duplicate okay boom we're gonna hit duplicate now as you could just see be very careful this is gonna require pinpoint accuracy because that delete button is way too close to the duplicate i don't know why no one has said, uh, thought about this, but the delete is literally right next to the duplicate. As you can see, almost delete the entire demonstration. That would have sucked. So you just hit that duplicate, okay? Hit the duplicate. Then we're just going to click on that layer. And before we do that, because we're going to stay organized, we're going to name this layer barbarian character flat, okay? Because guess what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and flatten all those layers out. Okay, so we're going to flatten those layers. Bam, 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 bam. Group. Okay, shrink that group down. Flatten. Okay, now keep in mind, once you, once you have any layer on Procreate, you can always swipe down copy. Now guess what? That copy will transfer over to, to the next file you want to do. So, for example, let's go ahead and select duplicate. Okay, we'll duplicate that flat one. Then we're gonna come in here and uh, we're gonna uh, just, you know, have have that, whatever. Oh no, this is not what I wanted, I, I ruined it. I can't go back. Let's go to gallery. Okay, let's go back to character flat. Then we're just gonna click on that flattened layer, swipe down, copy. We have access to that full file again, no matter if we ruin it or not. So we're gonna swipe down, paste, and it's, it's in there again. It's back in there, that actually, looks kind of decent I might actually keep that so okay so 
we're gonna go move that up now we're gonna just go ahead and say okay we wanted we wanted a background the background that we were we we're trying to make uh, it didn't fit in the last file because we ran out of space right so we go to this one then we just uh, we I'm just gonna do something simple for the purpose purpose of this demonstration we're just gonna do like a kind of a a neutral um, a neutral back or a, a gray kind of background okay Okay, so you're at the point where you got your character, okay? You got all the layers just the way you want them. You're like, okay, this is perfect, okay? So guess what? You see that some that thing again, and you start to shed a tear, but then you remember your boy Bones of Berry taught you the methods to get you out of this situation. So we go to gallery again. Guess what? I'm going to go ahead and duplicate. Bam, duplicate it. Let's, before we do that, we're gonna name this uh, character barbarian character um, effects flat. Okay, effects flat. I'm gonna click on that. And what does it mean by flat? You know, we're just gonna go ahead and flatten everything out once again. Okay, group. Boom. Flatten. Now guess what, anything, this is important that I didn't know. Procreate, you can copy a file here, you see, you can copy it here, okay? So swipe down, then go to copy, and then guess what, you can make another file, boom, okay, flat, and you can duplicate again, okay? you can use that same, you can paste, you can use that same duplicate over and over again like and just experiment okay see how it might come out okay now it want, now that you know that you could pretty much you could pretty much move to this last step okay so you just you just export it go ahead and export a png or jpeg save okay now we're gonna just open up all those images on our ipad that was a previous version beside it so we're I don't know what what happened with that thing. Yeah, most recent. Most recent. Now we just click on that, and then we just go to uh, pro, uh, share, and then we're gonna send it to Procreate. Okay, now send it to Procreate. What happened? Click on the Procreate app, and you'll see it's importing. Okay. So we're gonna go back to where it imported. Boom. We go to that file. Okay, let's just make another one. Duplicate. Boom. Then we're just going to go to uh we're just gonna make some final edits on it, okay? Cause say it we can always test it out to see, okay. Let's add a little bit more light and add a little bit more dark. And you know, we'll we'll come to something that we like. So say that's how we like it. And we can guess what we can leave it there now that we've now that we finished it. So now that you know how to how to expand those layers, you won't be limited. And I hope you can use this, create some beautiful characters and art, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, uh, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, come back. There's gonna be a lot more. I'm gonna do something else using this same character, and uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the next video. Uh, I got something in the works with Procreate. I just saw, or with um, I'm sorry, Skillshare, and that will be coming out soon. Stick around for a time lapse of that last drawing that I was showing you with the character, and uh, come back soon. Thank you. Bye.